no slack. Pints in the neck, got that pints in the neck, got that pints in the neck, got that pints in the neck. Boy, it's been bad that I'm fresh on the scene and I'm fucking your bitches. Yo, baby, how you feeling, man? I'm cold, what's up, man? It's cold out here, though. Shit, it's a wonderful one today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so first of all, tell the tell people who you are. Well, I go by the name of Bank Bag Bag. You know, I'm a skateboarder, musician. I ain't gonna say the word, I'm just saying the musician. Okay. All this, all around? All around. Okay. I engineer my own stuff. You know me? I record everything. If you need to get recorded, holler at me, too. Anything. All right, all right. So you're all around with it. All around with it. So all around um, with it. where where are we at right now, and where are you from? Are we are we in the area for you from? Right now, slapping feet on the ground. Yeah. This right here, we over here, Bel Road. I mean, well, this, this whole part right here is Minnesota. I mean, this 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 really a harder zone 18, zone 19 over there, but no, Bel Air Road. This is where it was at. We got the four by four, and everything. All right, and you from, you from right here, or right this here, is? 3200 block of Dutton. Okay, 3200 yes, block of Dutton. All right, all right, okay, okay. So, um, what's your most memorable moment, like good or bad, or good and bad, what's your most memorable moments from here, or maybe a couple moments from here, you know what I mean, that you can speak on, you know what I mean? I, I feel like the most shit that really made me out here is like, Coming up, when my first day when I moved out here, yeah. I was riding on the skateboard and shit, and I was riding around through the through the streets, and I got in the alley, and it was like 15 niggas in the alley around my age. When I was like 13, they all in the alley and shit. Yeah, looking at you crazy they was on the bike, and the biggest nigga wanted to fight me, and I'm like, no, y'all gonna jump me, yo, I'm not about to fight you. And then another dude who was close to his side, he told me, yo, ain't nobody gonna jump me. So I stood on the bike like this. The nigga was in front of me. I banged him in his face. His shit stopped beating all that. Bro, I ain't gonna say no names and shit, but right now in the hood, I'm dead. I mean, but from that point on, I, I guess I solidified myself with everybody. They like, yo, nigga on the skateboard, but don't fuck with him. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. So you was basically. I was the only like, nigga in the hood on the skateboard. On the skateboard. First nigga in the hood. I had a mohawk back in the day. Now nah, everybody fucking with yeah, you. Yeah, now everybody. Everybody cool. Y'all yeah. good around here and shit like that. So where we at? We on? You said we on this Minnesota? Well, no. Right now we're not on Minnesota. We on the corner of Chesterfield right now. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Minnesota right there. All right, all right. So what's um what's some uh, uh, a good good memory? Good. I got good. Ahead, you know? When I first started spitting, everybody on the block, everybody was spitting around here. They didn't really introduce me to this rap shit, but I was Most memorable, like just okay. starting off rapping right around here. This is where I started. Like, it all started right around here. Yeah, like they always said I was going to do the corner. So, we right here, this one of y'all, I'm assuming this one of the corners. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm the main thing. Let me take you to that. Let me take you to that. Let me take you to Sandwich or something for real, for real. Yeah, we, we, we are, what y'all be getting from here? 
little breakfast bitch, different shit, everything, whatever you want for real. Get you some pampers from this bitch. <laughs> get you my fucking cold sandwich, anything you really want. You can get that shit from anything you want. Yeah, we used to get the slices of pizza off this bitch. That was the hood famous. We used to grab the bitch and get right want. out. We used to get the motherfucking chicken box mm -hmm. hit. The, uh... Philly cheese steak out this bitch. We had hot whipping that shit up. I wish he was here. This bag boy, everything used to be motherfucking 25 cents. All this, oh, get you four shit. bags of, you feel me? Four, 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 four bags of chips for a dollar. Oh, still the man. spot. Can't they they take three for a dollar. Man, that's what he said. Hey, this cousin right here. Got DJ right here. My cousin right here. You feel me? I mean, it's all what you want to talk about. Yeah, it's my movie. It's oh, really? hey, oh. hey, hey, hey! <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, yeah. my good brother, my good brother, my good brother. Hey, I'm gonna have to get your new Instagram and all that shit too, yo. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, no, I'm about to get something for the fellas, and then we gonna go back outside and chop it up. I ain't going to lie to the camera. I'm gonna keep it real. Yeah, I man, you gotta keep it brief and safe around right here, right cause it can take one second and go up. You feel me? That's why I'm letting y'all know, man, man. Everything not to, it's kosher, we in here, you see the gang, we all family, you feel me? But it's a lot of people that don't like what's going on either. Cause this Baltimore, so, yeah man, we try and keep this brief. Whatever this going at, hey, Tony Hawk, you gotta sign my guy. Tony Hawk, you need to sign my boy. You need a deal, Tony. You need a deal, Tony. You need to sign him, Tony. Thank you for bringing us to the suit, man. So this is, this is where everything basically started as far as, like, a lot of music you make and, or everything you was telling me, right? Everything. I like to record in the hood, for real. Like, I tried to record in the county. It's just not the same vibe. Okay. Everything gotta be us. You feel what I'm saying? That's us. Right. Yeah, right where you from, right so it feel better. It feel it's way better. More hot, felt so you go outside, see whatever, junkies. Oh, uh, yeah, I just need that feel. <laughs> nah, <man. laughs> nah, I give you, it give you a better vision, you know what I mean? Because, like, we can only speak about what we've been through or what we've seen, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? A lot of people don't realize that with artists. But um, my next question would be is what is good or bad memories did you have here? If you have, you know what I mean? Of course, you got to have some good memories. I, I think, like, my my best memories is, like, around 2015, 2016. We first came in and started working with everybody in the city, seeing what's going on. But really, we was, like, really giving everybody the sauce, the 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 DNA to everything that's going on. We was really letting them see. We was, we was really trying to bring the city together like my Atlanta. Best, so. Yeah. That was really one of my favorite moments, like, just the whole thing. I wouldn't take nothing back. Yeah, I mean, that that was, like, really it. Like, that's where I'm at with it. I like that. Still, the city is not unified as it should be, but we're going to get there. Yeah, they're getting, but nah, it's they too getting talented. better. It's, they're getting, it's getting better. better. They're getting better. Yeah, but I feel like, really, we <coughs> gave the sauce. We gave everybody the sauce, and I love that the music is not going down. How it was going to go, it's going up, so I love it. Nah, right, facts. That's, that's, that's big love. I know you was telling me, like, a bunch of the major artists came through here in the studio, you know. Uh, so if you could just name just name some of the great artists that done worked in the studio. We got, like, the from the YG text to your PDM perps, your shorty yeah. shorties, yeah. your little scooter, the band piece. hunter Izzy. We got... We didn't seen it all. We didn't. Big Sean didn't even came through. You feel like That's we didn't. Right. We didn't really seen it all in the studio. Like I, I was always in there though, day in day out, playing my music in the other room. I was in a lower budget room, so nobody wanted to really record this. Yeah. So I'm in there banging. Everybody that heard it got the sauce. You feel what I'm saying? And all right, they they know what it is. They, they you feel? Me? No, facts. So um, I know you was telling me on side like it, it was like. You also had some hard times yeah. in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, like if you don't mind, or if, if you can't speak on it, what would be like one of the hard times, or some of the hard times that, you know, in the studio or, you know, maintaining the studio? See, I'm telling you, all these artists coming through, you feel me? Yeah. Me, thinking as a young-minded individual, like really what I would like to tell the young people too and telling you the story, as a young individual, you really got to watch and pay attention closer. Everything isn't so, you feel me, peaches, and you know what I'm saying? Okay. So really, a lot of artists come through and play my music. People getting jealous. So one night I'm in there by myself. Some people come in, 
they 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 jump me or whatever. They hating on me because I wouldn't record them. I'm an artist. I ain't yeah. here to record. They let me record my music because it's my music. Yeah. So you feel me? People who hate and jump me, then they stole the studio equipment. Right. I'm telling the young dudes from this. You feel me? Keep going. Don't let none of that type of stuff stop you. You feel right, me? Facts, Keep yeah. going. But from there, that time, everybody in the city was going to blow up. Everybody in Baltimore was going to, I'm telling you, at that time, we had 92Q on lock. We had the Royal Falls Arena on lock. Yeah, we had right. everything on lock. Everybody's about to blow this, this was the end of 2015, beginning of 2016. I'm okay. telling you, I was in the studio, shorty, shorty, freestyling for me right before we about to go on the lab. Like... Baltimore is a family. Yeah, you feel they me? Is, so they is. around everybody, that time, everybody was gonna go. Everybody's family or related to some some sort of, sort of fashion, and I and I definitely feel you on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, a camera. I'm a, I'm a director of videography myself, so I I've done had my my shit stored in my car too. You feel me? As far yeah. as like on some some bullshit. So like I would say the same thing. Yeah, like, don't stop. Like, got, that shit. Yeah, can't yeah. stop. I think that's just God telling you, look, yo, you got a hurdle, man. Everything ain't gonna come easy. If it do come easy, it ain't gonna last long. Nah, it ain't worth it, probably. You, feel me? you know what I mean? They so, always say you, you, you always, everything lasts longer. Like when it's like buying something. You know what I mean? If you dedicated to, yeah. you dedicated to it. You just keep going. That's really what I'm. Look, stay dedicated. Hard work. Hard work. Don't ever give up. And I feel like I ain't never, I ain't, I, I, only, I ain't in the game yet because I ain't never get my, my, my D-Rap. I'm telling you, 26, we back though. Man, this shit, listen, I don't, I can only speak from my own, my own, and, and what my man Cole has showed me, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you, you definitely a, a different artist, very, very talented, I but you also you have a lot of, a lot of shit that comes with you, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So you're not just one package, you know what I mean? Like I said, like, I think we uh, gonna hit the skate park, you know what I mean, get some of them shots, and then I know we about to step out here in a few minutes and, and go back around your, your original way, you know what I mean? Back to where, like, the original house where it all started, you know what I mean? And even if no, we was about to blast, we'd be launching. Now we on dust. So this is where it all started. This is where it all started. Niggas, we just... Took the motherfucking out that little window, put a radio out here, and we freestyling out the all the CDs. Yeah, out, out the radio and the one CDs. This was outside. They probably man, a lot of shit can transpire right here. Niggas used to smoke on the porch, fifteen niggas spot, five blunts. We all used to pass them bitches to the bitch this little. We used to stand in a hut. <laughs> we used to stand in a hut for real, about 15 people to keep warm on this porch. We had the whole culture on this porch. We left here, we tried a little shit out here, tried to get some money. It went good, it went bad. You know how it go. Got out the way. Any, any, any memorable, like real memorable moments as far as good or bad right here? Around this here. where it started. We was freestyling right here. They everybody they know he was the freestyle king. Yep. Was Dang. Can't forget that. I can't forget that. Older brother Daniel, real shit. Yeah. I got the roots from my family. Dead ass. My older brother. That's my older brother. Hey, this this one of my brothers too right here. He got come close to bank. They got the yeah, man. This T Rock right here. Mm -hmm. We always right here. That yeah, I mean everybody was out here right on the block smoking, freestyling this shit. But this way it all started. From back then, everybody knew yo. You, some shit, yo. You need to hey, my bro up. right here, he the one that introduced me to Bel Air Rose. I came around here, I was from Old York and Cater, you feel me? Once again, I was from Old York and Cater. My new bro, I went to Towson. We was all out Towson. Daniel, my older brother, they connected from Towson. When I came around here, he said, man, Daniel, he was on a bike right at that store where we was at. He came down on the bike, yo! We all yeah, excited from that day. We was here every day. Yeah, yeah, we was lit. That yeah, man, this T-Rock right here, he really, he really that out here. Like, he showed me the ropes out here, man. I seen he pulled up and shit yeah. when we pulled up. Yeah, he showed me the ropes out here. He showed me how to survive in these streets out here. It's real yeah. dangerous right here. So, you know what I'm saying? Really, like, that was the beginning of the freestyle game. Yeah. Like, that was the beginning of the freestyle game. Yeah. Like, that was the beginning of the freestyle game. Like, I used to steal cars, I wasn't out here doing nothing about nothing, I was minding my business. When I told you, all, all the niggas I the same, we all used to ride around with bikes and go, go look to go dirt bikes, all that. We, you feel me? The young <laughs> niggas. I'm talking about, we was out there niggas 11 years old, so, but I was riding my skateboard in the pack. 
They was all on bikes. I was nah, on my board. No, that's different. So you was the only one in the pack with the skateboard. I was the only one in the pack with the skateboard with the fat ass vans, DCs, this big, and that hot That's why I said it. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't never had one. That bitch was comfortable as shit. I ain't gonna lie, I had one pair, I think, of DCs. Yeah. My homeboy had put me on them. It was the little fat, the fat shit. But yeah, them bitches definitely was comfortable. Niggas, and I used to wear the pink bandana, always. That always was my signature. I only reason why I don't really rock it like that is because niggas know if you see that you know it's me for sure. Okay. So you feel me? That's my signature for real. The pink bandana and my name was always Bank, but when I first came out here that first day I told you about yeah. down the alley, niggas called me Banks. I, I was telling them, yo, my name Bank. They was calling me Banks. They called me Banks with the ever since. Ever since. Yeah, ever since. And the hood is Banks. They called me Newski. Yeah, they called him Newski. You talk, yo, there's no the only Newski. nigga that wore yeah. Bank bandana be for Bank. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And shout out to Monica, y'all don't even know. Shout out to Monica. Monica's one of the stylists. She's the one that fucking oh. really like put it up on them. Like, like she's the OG to the game for real. So shout out Monica. Whole time though, right? Yeah. I got the paint bandana shit because I always wanted to wear bandanas like Tupac and shit like that, right? Yeah. But I ain't want to wear a certain color like a gang. So yeah, I'm like, which exactly. one I can wear that make me look friendly, but whole time I'm not friendly. It's the thing to fake out. Niggas ain't never fuck with me. The then you come down the block out, with a skateboard. Nothing. I ain't gonna lie, that's not a lot of skateboards in the city. Uh, I ain't gonna say hey, like, you don't you don't pull up on no block and see no. nobody skateboard out this motherfucker. Dude, dude, them niggas don't know how to do them shit like this. Nah, no, he gonna take us to the skateboard. My first week skating here <laughs> tell you I can do a kickflip. Yeah. 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 See, I'm gonna tell you all the story how about the skateboard. Alright. See? We was in the hood, we was trapping. Once again, I'm sorry. That's how we started. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> Once again, we was getting to it, man. Right, right. And from there, Lil Bro was out there doing his own thing. Yeah, you know I mean, he had the popularity, he always been popular. So, I walked up the shopping center. I got Lil Bro to jug, uh, we ran into the liquor store. He jugged the whole gallon of uh, Seagram's gin. He went down the block, I said, yo, we got a new side from Bank. I went up the vet to go get some uh, Chinese food. It was a Chinese spot in the said, I'm talking about Charlie. It was George Charlie. It was a racist town, Maryland. You feel me? We started a happy thing out there. I'm telling you. We moved from here and went out there and started something big. But we were still living. Our family still was living here. So we back and forth getting to it. I found the skateboard at the Chinese shop. So I said, damn, this look hard. Let me give it to Vic, because I know he chill near the skate park. He know all of them. Yeah. I gave it to him. The next day, he came on the block. That first week, he bust a tray flip. I said, damn. Keep going, shorty. Then he hopped on the curb, did a no, nollie. I, said, I know. I've yeah, been hearing about that. Too. But I also, so I don't mean to put you on the spot. You know what's called? Right. 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 I around the world. It's, it's cold. cold. Man, so it's so I'm, I am going to put you on the spot. So I know we got, you know what I mean? We're going to go to the skate park, we're going to get a couple shots of that, but you know why we're here though. Yeah, so, I so, you know what I mean? So, I need whether it be 16, 24, whatever the case may be, I need some real raw shit for the people right now, you know what I'm saying? Some hot color shit, just to kind of give them a little taste of who you is, you know what I'm saying? And then they're going to be able to tap into your shit and see, see the movie you got going on, because you definitely real nice but real different at the same time bro you got you got a lot of different adversity you got logo you got, logo, you got so, i mean i don't much. mean to put you on the spot or nothing like that you know what i'm saying but you know it's real rap so that's Fuck what it, we, we on the spot for, you know what i'm saying that's how we get it so, well, we on the spot my man Bink take over you know what i mean Trap for real. Get your chase section, you out here right Mr. still they buying the richer for half a mil you need to buy back the whole block and chill they cooking the dope in the pot, Jalil. You black, that's all I take for cows to kill. I swear my whole family need Dr. Phil. You a wack little rapper, you not in the field. Kick them out like Uncle Phil. Right. I see these new rappers be capping still. Mm -hmm. On the block, they be laughing and standing still. Niggas acting like I got a man to steal. Niggas walking around like they the man to steal. Okay. Everybody in my city trained to kill. Learn how to ride a trick bike with no training wheels. Hey. Damn, okay. I'm gonna chat for real. <laughs> so, nah, they got nothing. Real shit, y'all gotta tune in. Y'all gotta tune chat in. bink shit. Big bag that. Whole but, time. You know what I mean, Bank, but you gotta check this shit out. He is different. They gotta tune in. They gotta tune they in. Gotta they tune gotta tune in. My man put me on with his shit. And I'm trying to tell you, my man Cole put me on with his shit. Hey. And ever since, I was like, damn, yeah, I, I, we gotta get they him on. They used to call me the Hood Wheezy, man. And it, that was only because he dressed like skateboarding, but I'm telling you. But. Give him a number on the top. Give him a number on the top. Give him a number on the top. 
We got two for one special. Okay. Hey, all right. Go ahead. Give me no one off the top. Straight up, man. Hey, give me no one off the top. Hey, hold up. Hey, don't even matter. Just take a side. That's how we hey. doing it. Right, that's it. Once you start rapping, you won't feel it. All right, I got you. I'm going back in with the pot with the fork. My floor got his eyes on me tonight the port. If I ever get book putting money on the books, got a hundred round drum high fitted in the shorts. If it ain't about no money, then what is it for? Young going no see pay, so we the fence has it for. I can never trust the whole shit. Ain't never ever did this before. I'm going back in with, with the, the pot with, with the, the fork. fork. My plug got excited. Me him in New York. My plug got low, so I meet him at the port. If I ever get book putting money on the books, got a hundred round drum high fitted in the shorts. If it ain't about no money, then what is it for? Young going no see pay, so we the fence has it for. I can never trust the whole shit. Ain't never ever did this before. I just put my thumb in her butt. She ain't did this before. Huh? My leg made the water. Like I'm Eeyore. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. We all come. We all come. We all come. It's better than no she just like the rock that I got. I said, Perkins and Adderall, I am a pharmacy. She sat on your boss like the holy Corona. I'm double dabbing on your bitch. She can't even hold on to me. I should back your whole crew.